All right, let's do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost everything is on sale. How much is everything? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One gold short of buying everything. Well, I know that I need a, another form of DPS, so wooden sword is looking pretty nasty right now. Banana is always a great choice. I think everything here is always a great choice, probably except the customer card. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go with sword. We're gonna put a wooden buckler into play, get that banana on the field along with the healing herb. You know what? I might as well just reserve that. And I think we're just gonna start this round. That was uh, very interesting. Going against a spear though, very dangerous going against a spear. We might be able to take this one home though because of the shield. Um, and I believe that's pretty much what happened right there. Um, round number two, let's go ahead and get this customer card. What I like to do when I have double wooden swords is probably just go the mana torch since that's my immediate way of scaling DPS. That or I could probably go for uh, maybe like a hero sword, falcon blade, you know what I mean? Just something dealing with swords is what I usually like to do. So I'm probably not going to get this pan and broom situation to stone. Probably not going to get stoned along with the pocket sand. I don't think any of those is going to be good for you, me. But this, on the other hand, is looking pretty damn solid um i can get this for a torch i can get this for spike shields and obviously space is always a great chase the only problem is we don't have enough money um which is very unfortunate now what i could potentially do is put this shield on this side and get these spikes on that side and just say goodbye to my healing herb plus lucky clover to save a little bit of space or whatnot but i know that i know for a fact that i want to get this combination off this round because that's the most important thing to me right now um, and the only way to do that, I believe, is probably just to sacrifice something. So we're going to go ahead and get the Walrus Tusk here. Um, I could rotate this sideways like so and just still keep my banana in there and just sacrifice the customer card with the Lucky Clover, which I think is probably the best play. And then we can also get that Lump of Coal for the Torch to also get that in there. And then we'll just reserve space for next round. I think that's probably the better play. We might even lose this one because this guy got spike shows early, which is extremely dangerous um considering we have two different forms of dps and we pretty much have the exact same healing as up we have regeneration but i don't think that's gonna be enough to go against spike shield so we're taking that l but that is a-okay with me because we increased our dps a little bit let's go ahead and get that space space is always a great thing in the game of this game um we could also get banana here a double banana is never a bad choice we could top it off with the garlic Honestly, I think getting Corrupted Crystal this early is a little bit dangerous, so not going to go that route, but I also want to roll just to see what I would get. Didn't get anything super duper great. I am going to reserve that stamina sack though, because I think that's good, and we'll probably just go with that um, and see what happens. What I'm looking for is pretty much exactly what this guy's doing. I'm looking for whetstones. That's the main thing I'm looking for right now. Whetstones um, and probably potentially a goober. Pretty much exactly what this dude has is in a nutshell pretty much what i want um and hopefully we can actually get that oh wow a thorn whip early this is round four round four thorn whip is pretty interesting and that can change the strategy drastically as to what i do here um whenever i see a thorn whip, I get excited because i could go thorn will combine with tuscan piercer and that could pretty much just win me this right um and i think that's what i do here because I feel like I'm just a little bit closer with the Thorn Whip. I feel like that's that's probably the better play. With that being said, we could just go ahead and sell both of those since our main form of DPS is now just going to be the Thorn Whip. And I just need to focus everything that I have, in my opinion, into some Thorned situation if I can. Um, and figure out a situation for this as well, which that pretty much works out for itself. We could also just buy this Healing Herb. It's on sale why not let's roll what i need right now is another uh is another thorn and i also need to find a bone arrow those both of those are being important i'm gonna buy this because it's on sale or reserve that i could honestly get the customer card to get a um in order to get what do you call this a unique i believe right yeah, yeah a unique now i'm not really sure which unique would it help me out in this situation if i'm going to go thorns to be honest um really not sure to be honest really 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 not sure so i might not even try going for a unique honestly i think we're just gonna stick with what we have here reserve the space because i need the space but stick with what we have here and see what 
happens for the most part going against broom shovel with the dagger a little bit of feud on a reaper very interesting i say we win this because of thorns honestly him having three different forms of dps and us having practically infinite thorns along with infinite scaling on our dps i feel like just wins us that um oh a hungry blade this we could go thorn whip i feel like thorn whips are better play here honestly because we have two different forms of regeneration already right um and that's pretty much gonna carry us as far as dps goes i say we probably just uh we probably just go thorn whip here and call that a day honestly i wasn't expecting to get thorn whip on round five or blood, blood thorn sorry not thorn with blood thorn. i was expecting to get blood thorn around five but i i guess we'll take it i'm also gonna buy the fanny pack because that's important um and you know what we could just roll here free roll maybe um not horrible to be honest not horrible not horrible what we could do is buy that bird buying the bird might not be a horrible play to be fair um what do I need? I need, I honestly need food. That's what I really, but buying a bird, I'm gonna buy it. It's on sale. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it just now, but I will buy it though. Um, I do feel like if I were to use it on the Bloodthorn, it would be a bad choice because the Bloodthorn uses up so much stamina um, that I, with two, with two, what do we have? Two bananas. I'm pretty sure that stamina usage is gonna be crazy with two bananas. I'm not sure if we win this one. It's pretty, it's not looking great for us, mainly because that stamina usage and the fact that he's got a goober for that healing, double shield as well, pretty nasty. Um, however, we now have ourselves a Bloodthorn. So I'm gonna get that bird. And this is not a horrible roll, honestly. Getting the carrot could be nice. It's on sale and it help us out with the speed of the bananas. Um, which is always a great thing. Um, so I think that's what we honestly do here. And I'm thinking I just try to speed up the food as much as possible. Uh, because the faster the food is, the, uh, the more stamina we can generate. And the better everything is, pretty much. I will use the fanny pack on the Bloodthorn now. Just because. No reason, honestly. Um, but yeah, I said we just stick with this. Maybe even buy the other Lucky Clover just for that critical and also because we're gonna need as much food as possible um for the school item which is gonna be the leaf the uber's leaf now we should be able to win this one i mean as far as thorns go we're pretty solid as far as uh, vampirism goes we're pretty solid i'm thinking we're probably gonna win the rest of the battles that we run into another killing herb i can't say no to the healing herb also the box of riches could honestly be interesting as well um i say both of those are a great choice i will just get the healing herb here reserve that and i need space as well so hopefully i can actually roll for some space um and then also getting a blood amulet here is pretty damn nice as well that's pretty expensive though to be fair but i could just sell the customer card at this point i feel like i'm i'm pretty solid without it i'm going against a reaper here with double leather armor and a bunch of food on a pan very very dangerous but i feel like we do enough dps to one where the poison isn't going to be able to rack up fast enough in order to actually be able to kill us uh, but yeah let's get the leaf go ahead and get that on the field we can pretty much place that somewhere once we figure that out we'll buy you how much money we got five i need to roll for space here i feel like getting the box of riches right now wouldn't be the best plan space is space even if it's not great space i guess we could do stamina sack next round i might not be too horrible um but yeah i'm gonna put this on it wow look at that that's almost perfect literally quite literally almost perfect we could uh switch this up just a tad maybe do something like this instead um we are missing out on a few slots of regeneration we could turn that put a regeneration over there instead and you know what we could yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the bloodthorn a little bit slower just so I can put a um put that up there just to see if I could just max this out as much as possible, like so. And now that's pretty much all the way maxed out. Birds doing what the thing like the bird does. Can I um is that smart? Yeah, that would be smart. Yeah, just put it right there instead. So it's affecting all the food. We got bloodthorn right there, a little bit of blood amulet action. I think that's pretty solid. I like the way that looks. Let's see what we go against. We're going against another Bloodthorn. However, we got more food than he does, right? 
um, which means we got more regeneration, which means we're going to get more vampirism at the end of the day. However, he does have more forms of DPS. He's got the claws of attack and he's also got the hero sword. However, that also means that he uses more stamina than we do. And his bloodthorn isn't going to be able to attack as much as our bloodthorn is going to be able to attack. So we're going to be able to convert that regeneration into thorns slash vampirism a lot faster than he is considering, as you can see, he's only done it once so far. And, um, We've done it like eight something times already. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna take this one home due to just him being a little bit greedy with his weapons, unfortunately, but we'll take that one. Let's get that stamina sack and we'll also get the box of riches. Now, what do we need here? I feel like we need a little bit more survivability. I feel like getting some shields will be very, very smart. Um, and I mean, we could get vampiric armor here um, and that would, definitely help us out with our uh, survivability however with that being said i feel like getting vampiric gloves would be better um because you do gain that five vampirism and you know the speed is just great but mainly for that five vampirism because that five vampirism is going to help with the dps of the blood throne right this only gives us two um and yeah so i think i'm just going to save the blood amulet not get vampiric armor and i say we roll here mana orb not really interested in the mana orb but i will get that fanny pack i'm gonna roll one more time just for luck's sake i mean i could get another healing herb never a bad thing to get healing herb my only problem is running into a ripshaw blade that's my only problem and taking away that regeneration plus the thorns right so i want to get as much vampirism as possible just raw vampirism and that's why i want to get the gloves of haste pretty much going against another bloodthorn build um this dude's got spikes and he's probably got a lot of regeneration from the book of cars and then plus that three regeneration right there um very dangerous but we we are maxed out so i feel like um ours is just a little bit better even though we're pretty much losing right now um that was a very nice critical on my part though come on we can do this we can do this we can take this guy out we can take he's out of stamina let's go come on oh no this is not looking great for us we're probably gonna lose in the next hit yep damn I wonder why we lost that. Is it because of the pineapple getting that 16 spikes on us? Possibly, because I did 30. Yes, his bloodthorn was doing more damage than ours. I'm going to blame it on the spikes, honestly. Um, And then that gain, two spikes right there. I feel like that's the reason we lost that one. Uh, wow, we got, a, we got a pineapple of our own. That's very interesting, considering. I say we probably should get the pineapple. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I could. Yeah, I, yeah we, we should probably get this pineapple. I'm going to get the pineapple. I don't think that's a bad choice, uh, to be fair. And then we can honestly put the banana there um, and then put the carrot there. Just so like as much food as we have is touching the pineapple. I think that's the better play. I don't know where I got this chipped emerald. Oh, I yeah. got it from the box of riches. Right, right, right. Four, five, six, seven. We could get both of those. Just sell this. We don't really need poison, honestly. And I'm gonna put this back on the Bloodthorn and then we can just put our regeneration wherever we want to put our regeneration. And I think that's the better play that we could do there. Going against, looks like a fatigue build with a lot of armor, what, 121? Not that much, but still a decent amount of armor. Um, the only thing we gotta worry about is when fatigue hits. So we're gonna have to try to kill him as much as, or as fast as possible. Um, however, this activates actually when the health drops below 50%. So we'll see what happens when that happens. He's also got the mana thor, so our thorns is gonna um, come in very big handy with that mana thor situation. But fatigue's about to kick in any minute now. His armor's completely gone, which is great. Um, and it seems like we might be okay. I mean, his health is halfway down, so that 100% just kicked in. Fatigue just kicked in as well. So, oh wow, 76. 76 critical at the end disgusting we should probably get this acorn collar honestly and i wish we could get some blueberries as well but we need to increase the critical that our weapon does i think that would be smart so getting that acorn collar there um go ahead and do that let's roll here i say we probably roll again hmm getting this on sale might not be a horrible play and we could also maybe just combine it with the uh the um the crowns right but getting this on sale i feel like it's good how much you sell for four or five yeah we're not gonna have enough but i feel like buying it in general would be a good play it's on sale uh it gives the regeneration it can help us out right so going against looks like a a poison magic staff build of sorts with double spike shields um very interesting build not really 
not really sure what's going on here, but it, it is a very interesting build, I will say. Not sure if we're going to be able to win this one. I don't think the Glowing Crown is going to proc, no matter how much mana he's going to generate, because that mana, um, that mana staff is going to eat it up. Unless he does make it proc. I mean, he's at five. Oh, we missed? Excuse me? What's my accuracy? 95% accuracy? You telling me we missed? That's crazy. But yeah, that Glowing Crown is definitely not going to proc. 62 critical there. What's my crit chance? 26%. We've got to increase that crit chance blueberries or lucky clovers or something something's got to give the increase that crit chance that was a very close battle by the way way too close for comfort we got our first glowing crown um i don't want you but we, this is this is a lot of money especially having that pineapple there i mean i feel like the pineapple getting a second pineapple i feel like wouldn't really matter it would increase our dps yes however going against a ripshaw blade no matter how many pineapples you have that thing is going to eat up your pineapples right um, getting a cap resilience might not be horrible either, but I definitely want this holy armor and I need the space in order to hold it. Um, we could just get rid of spike shields. I feel like at this point, the only shield that matters is the big boy shield and we kind of do need space right now. Um, I'll put that there. I could sell, how much you sell for for? I have nine. It's not going to be enough to be honest to get that glowing crown and i also need some blueberries i want to pass on everything here there goes the blueberries that i need and i also got the whopping uh the uh, the, uh, the what do you call that thing i also got that um so here's what we do i say we sell this and we're just gonna go ahead and buy the blueberry and just replace it right there i feel like that's the best spot to do it at um and then put you back and i'm not gonna buy that actually because I want bigger space than that for the amount of money that I can get it for. Um, but yeah, so this looks like a... I've been seeing a lot of card builds recently. Um, interesting. But yeah, Magic Staff plus Mana Thirst. Pretty dangerous. Looks like a mainly just a DPS focused build. Um, considering he's got the mana generation from the Magic... The, the Mana Thirst and then the DPS from the Magic Staff. Um, however, with that being said, we might be able to take this one home because now we're being able we're able to generate the clovers now which is going to increase our crit chance so almost every hit as you see was critting right there our crit chance was 58 percent we just hit again for a crit um and just going to keep increasing now we do need more blueberries in my opinion um to increase that crit chance a little bit faster that or we could just rely oh wow a present we could just rely on the whopping tiger and seeing if that can um help us out with that you know that crit and then the stamina would also be good i haven't seen any gloves of haste which is extremely depressing but i will buy that a lot of money though i say we probably get the stamina sack as well just for the sake of space for the most part do a little something like that so you still keep that reserve and let's go ahead and we do need that shit of a lore should have a lore be nice right about now Let's go ahead and get the fanny pack just for even more space. Um, and we could put it on the birdie, I guess. Does that still fit? Yeah, okay. We could just put it on the birdie. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. This needs to, yes, sir. Just like that. Nice. All right. And I'm going to just reserve all three of those just because it's, I want them all. I know it's a lot of money. I know. I know it's a lot of money, but I want them all. Going against an Excalibur, max out Excalibur. That's going to be a lot of crit. All those blueberries is going to be a lot of crit plus the mana generation. He's got the 25% faster along with the 20 um, life still. This is a very dangerous build that he's got going on here. However, our build is also a very dangerous build, especially the fact that we got our freshly new Bloodthorn. We'll see how this goes as soon as our DPS keeps on increasing. And oh man, they're critting as well. This is not looking great for us. They're, they're critting as well and then they're healing as well. Oh, yeah, this is over. It is over. Good game, though. Very good game. If we had a little bit more speed in our Bloodthorn, that is very interesting. Very expensive, though. If we had a little bit more speed in our Bloodthorn, I feel like we... I don't know, man. Should I get this? Should I get this? I'm talking about speed. I mean, I can make the Bloodthorn 35% faster right about now. I feel like I should do it. It's a, it's a very big investment. Very big investment, but... The fact that we haven't ran into any um, Gloves of Haste makes me want to just get this instead i mean we're trying our best with the fanny packs we've got to keep it inside of the uh the pouch the backpack pouch for the crit chance and just getting this i i'm hoping it helps i'm hoping it helps because we only got two lives left i'm gonna just start it and i'll probably say maybe next round we go ahead and get that glowing crown very dangerous build this guy's got 
very dps oriented not much survivability but that is a lot of carrots he's got a lot of cleansing of random debuffs i guess he's prepping for a poison build that he's expecting to go against but yeah there's a lot of dps though he's got spectral dagger getting the dps double magic torch on him he's got double um double uh bunnies for the stamina generation so far so good on our part though one hit there we go nice that was a really good one that was a really good one um oh wow gingerbread jerry we should probably get this because we got whopping Tiger, and that can help us out with the three regeneration that can directly feed right into the bloodthorn um and then you know the gaining of everything else it gives we should definitely buy that that's a that is definitely a no-brainer right there i'm gonna put that guy where should i put that guy probably in there to the food i didn't even i forgot it was a food item so yeah putting that right next to the food is the best bet for sure um now the question is should i get the glowing crown or the blood amulet i want to kind of go for the glowing crown here if i'm being completely honest with you guys mainly because it gives me even more regeneration um but also because of the invulnerability i know it's going to mean that i'm not going to be able to get the criticals as much because it's going to you know you need 10 um mana in order to gain the clovers and we get what 10 mana from this so it's it would pretty much mean it would insta proc i'm not sure if i should get this now because it would literally insta proc and we don't have any other way of uh gaining the mana which means we don't really have any other way of getting our crits except for whopping tenure so maybe it might not be that bad of a play in order to get the glowing crown if not glowing crown we don't have space for the shield of Valor. So it would probably just be the blood amulet. That's our only other choice, honestly. Um, I could sell the box of riches for a little bit of space in order to actually utilize the glowing crown. I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna just try the glowing crown and let me see if I can. No, I'm not getting lucky here and rolling for space, am I? A second glowing crown is interesting. I could probably just save that for as much space as possible. And we can just do something like that i think might be a decent play um and in the meantime i'm just gonna combine those two for the sake of combining okay. and hopefully we do well against looks like a poison dark saber build um interesting a very very interesting yeah see how it insta proc right there now we're not going to be able to gain the clovers except for the whopping tiger which hopefully is going to be able to do that for us. Gingerberry Jerry's also going to be a little bit clutch here. But that 13 blind is that blind is very dangerous. Our accuracy is 25%. We're not hitting this guy for anything right now. And it's just going to keep on going up, up, up and up. And I'm pretty sure we're going to lose this one. Honestly. Um, wow. That look at that regeneration. If I could get me some red jewels just to increase the amount we heal, we could have maybe just tanked all of that, potentially. But I mean, we did get double blood. I don't know, man. Getting double blood ammo. We'll have three blood ammo. We don't need that many blood ammo. I'm even hesitant to get this, like, last blood ammo. I need space right now more than anything I feel. Maybe getting this last one might not be horrible, but I mean, I don't think it's it's a big investment. I'm, I'm just going to roll here and hope that I can get a little bit lucky. Okay, got some space. I say we we'll probably get on space now. Let's roll again and again. Got you on the sale, which is way better than uh, than you not on the sale. So I say we'll probably take the one that's on sale now. Um, not, I don't think that was a horrible round per se. Going against. Okay, there. Here we go. Here's the ripshot blade. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Here we go. Yep, removing the thorns uh, from us, removing the regeneration from us. Um, however, whopping timer is probably going to be decently clutchy here, considering it's going to be able to infinitely generate that regeneration. Um, and then also, Gingerbread Jerry's giving us regeneration, which is really good. That's going to help us out with vampirism a lot. Um, but it looks like we're at our limit, and we're not doing very well right now. Definitely not doing very well definitely not that freaking ripshaw blade is doing 40 critical us he's still got a lot of block left and all the stats that he's got from the double um the double whopping tiger i yeah we definitely lose that one man what should we do here can we do anything to save this right now i mean i i feel like i should get the shield of Valor. we could get a second wapa tinger potentially that might not be a horrible play honestly um 
Yeah, that might not be a horrible play, getting a second one of those. I'm very hesitant on selling this Glowing Crown right now because I need the Clover Generation from the Blueberry. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sell it. I know I bought it. Very bad investment, but I'm gonna try to trust my instinct on this one. And hopefully I do not regret it. Um, Let's see if I can make all of this make a little bit more sense. To fit everything in here real quick. Dude, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna move this there. Put you right there so I can put you there. That works for me. And then I can fit this there. But the thing is, I need space for this little guy to go somewhere, which uh, huh, not looking very great for me right now. That helps. Um, how did, how did I have you? Where do you need to go? You just need to go like that, right? Okay. That can, well, that, whoa, hello. That can go there. And then we could do a little bit something like this. Not horrible. And then we could just fill up the rest of the spaces with the clovers. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that'll work. I'm a roll here. Got a blueberry. Oh, wow. First gloves of haste. The first one I've seen in like this entire match. Which I will probably be able to use next round if I survive this round. Let's see. Let's see what happens. What are you going against? Okay. This doesn't seem too entirely overpowered. I mean, he does have double blood goober with triple bunny. That in itself is pretty overpowered, but hopefully with our new changes, getting that double bunny for ourselves um, helps us out for the most part. Um, we're, we're getting a lot of buffs now. Lots of buffs. The only thing we lacking right now, bros, is speed in my opinion, but um, Gingerberry Jerry is kind of clutching us. We got 420. Oh, that was a big hit. 66 on his part, though. Very massive. Come on, we can do this. We can do this with that vampirism and that regeneration. We could definitely take dude out. Okay, that hurt, but that was his health potions that he's using. Okay, that's a good sign for us. We got our oh, whoa, whoa, we're going back and forth. Holy, that heal at the end there saved our behinds. That heal at the end was incredible. All right, let's get that. Um, just to make this faster. Um, we could just top it off with another blood amulet, honestly. That like that might not be a horrible play. And we only got was well, nine, ten, eleven. That'll be perfect. I say that's what we'll do. Even though we're not going to get the combination off. Okay, going against another Bloodthorn build. Let's see which Bloodthorn build is the better Bloodthorn build. So he's got, he went with the Stamina Potion route versus the um, the Bunny route, which is interesting. He's also got a shield. We have a shield. I say we're probably going to be able to generate more Stamina than him, and he's going to be able to use his Stamina Potions. But after those Stamina Potions are used, I think he's fucked, honestly. There goes one Stamina Potion. He's at max Stamina now. Um, game's looking decently tight, kind of. I mean, we got... We definitely got more health than him, but we started with more health. 510 health right now. Um, our vampirism is more 104 critical right there. Nasty stuff. And yeah. That was incredible. 57 to 61 damage. Yeah, getting double... I think getting the double bunny is really what changed this battle for us, honestly. That double bunny was insane. Plus the 20% of the Gloves of Haste was pretty nasty, too. I feel like if we would have gotten Gloves of Haste a little bit sooner or a lot sooner, I, I think that that game would have went a lot different instead of going all the way down to our last health. I think that game would have been a lot different. Um, but yeah, Jerry was actually a high key W in this build. Just being able to increase our health really did help us. And then getting us to that, um, I mean, he aggravated eight times. Okay. We got eight. What is that? Eight, 16. That's 24, uh, additional, um, additional regeneration that we got. That's an insane amount. We had, we're going to have a lot of vampirism and regeneration at the end of that game. I feel like getting more jewels, um, like more red jewels to put on our armor would have helped as well, just to get that additional healing to keep us alive a little bit longer. Um, and then also that max health was really nice too, Mr. Jerry. I appreciate that. We got almost 200 more health than he did. 530. I think that's the highest amount of health we had. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a good one. That was a good game. That was a good game. If we were able to put a little bit more speed on that guy, we would have been, we would have been straight, but that was a good game.